Morning guys, welcome back. So we've just got a couple out in the uh, Citroen C1 this morning, 2014 Citroen C1 that we've got for sale and we're just out on a test drive at the moment. This is their potential part exchange, 2007 Fiesta petrol. Uh, so we take anything and everything in part exchange and some are good, some are bad, some are ugly. So we'll have a quick look round. Uh, I think it's done about 106, 107,000. We'll have a look in a minute. Missing a centre cap. Got a bit of rust bubbling, a little couple of dings there. Bit coming in on the arch. Now obviously this isn't, isn't something we'd go on with. This will be uh, traded out to one of our local traders. And then they do whatever they do. Stick them on Facebook, I don't know. I don't mind once they're gone. Bit of a crease in the bonnet there, as they tend to do if they've been shut too hard. Towing eye cover is missing. I think it's MOT'd until October. A couple of advisories for brake pipes and bits and bobs. Nothing too drastic, I don't think. It's got good tyres. Uh, this side's a little, little worse in terms of the rust. And got some damage there on the quarter and the bumper. So really not something we'll be cracking on with but I'm sure we'll do a job for somebody seats all right needs a really good valet but seats are okay what have we done 106,000 really good little cars for Fiestas I've got to say even these older ones this is a no air conditioning um, 106. So whenever the potential part exchanges come in, we always have a look round. Um, we try the clutch, just backwards and forwards really. We don't take them up the road unless it's something a bit more. If the car's got more value to it or it's something that we would retail, then, um, then we do take them up the road for a spin. But if it's something that's just going out to the trade, not really the end of the world. Four services, so not the greatest history in the world. Have we got a locking wheel on that key? We do. So, it's not going to be worth a great deal, of course. The car they're out in, the 2014 C1, I think it's done 38,000 miles. Um, that one's at 5,250. So, we will see what we can do with this one. I'll let you know. So there we go guys. The C1 is sold. The deal done. Um, I gave them £500 for the little Fiesta. Which is about middle middle book. So uh, we use Kappa's our valuations. Not that I really needed to on a car of that age in mileage. But I thought £500 was a fair price. And this was the lovely little C1 that they bought in the sort of baby blue colour. Powder blue, I think they call it. Always popular. Cheap tax, well, free tax on this one. Um, cheap insurance, excellent on fuel. Really tidy car, this one. It's got these checkered seats. Snazzy little gear knob. Uh, air conditioning, auxiliary input, rev counter. Electric windows, remote locking. But they just wanted something to get them from A to B. And that was simple to use. They'd had the Fiesta for a long time, eight years I think. So just something to get to work and back. And it was going to be reliable, cheap to service. As always guys, these C1s and 107s and Agos extremely popular. Harder to get hold of these days. Uh, at the right sort of money. But there we go, I'm sure they'll be pleased, they're picking the car up on Tuesday, so uh, this one's got an MOT until February, it's just been serviced as well, so it will go through the workshop for a PDI and its levels and then safety inspection and so on, and then it will be on its way on Tuesday, so good start to the Friday. So guys, as always, everything seems to be happening on a Friday, 
especially in the mornings, people seem to go crazy. This Seat Arona has just arrived with us from Jack at Piggyback Motor Solutions. Sorted this out. Uh, local lady Tim was looking at selling this. Uh, she had finance on it on a PCP deal um, that she was looking to get out of. She didn't want to be paying finance anymore, so she's gone for something cheaper elsewhere. So we've bought this, paid the finance off. Uh, 69 plate Seat Arona. Uh, SE model, one litre turbocharged petrol manual um, with navigation. She's owned the car from new, so it's privately owned from new. Now, these Aronas are super popular. Race seat in position, so you've got that easy access. Um, nice big windows, S sort of a small mid size SUV, but plenty of space. Volkswagen made, of course, so this is the same as a Volkswagen T Rock, I believe. I've just driven it to make sure it's all good. Drives really, really nicely. The one litre turbo is excellent. Plenty of poke. You've got the lane assist and anti collision on the front there. Bodywork wise, absolutely as you'd expect from a two and a half year old car uh, the, all I could notice was a very tiny touching on this front corner which we'll do the wheels are all good just wants a clean but no curbing to any of the alloys parking sensors across the back the only thing I do know that we had to get which Jack told me before he delivered it up to us is there's no parcel shelf with it so we'll have to get one of those sorted, but that's no big issue. Um, locking wheel nut key. Got your compressor and inflation kit. So yeah, this should be a very quick turnaround. Just wants a quick wash. Touching that little bit on the front. And we'll be good to go. It's got two keys. Super tidy, seats, etc. Bolsters, of course, all good. Spec wise, everything you'd imagine on a car of this age really. Four electric windows, electronic, the adjustable door mirrors, auto lights. We've got trip computers, we've got voice recognition, cruise control, mileage 27,000. So, average mileage for the age, which does make it look good value you go for something that's done 5,000 miles then obviously it'll be a hell of a lot more money plenty of cup holders what else we got big infotainment system sat nav what else you got your your car setup trip computers DAB radio of course Bluetooth um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, so that's good. I think you've got a wireless charging down here for the phone as well. A couple of USBs, auxiliary. They're like spaceships these days, aren't they, really? Um, glove box, we've got your cables, sat-nav disc, handbooks. Um, it's, got, it's been serviced once at the Seat main dealer. Um, so do a service now, which obviously we'll do for the lucky new owner takes over. But yeah, easy to see why they're so popular. Raised up, great visibility, but at the same time, not a massive car. So very easy to get along with. Good on fuel. And I think with the black roof and the and the white, it's a properly good looking thing. It'll be retailed at £15,000. So a good value car for what's only two years old. Would have been 20-ish 20, 20 new, I would have thought. Maybe even more. So... I'm sure this uh, this is the sort of small SUV these days that'll be snapped up very quickly. So we're back with the Skoda Citigo, which you may remember from a couple of days ago, arrived with us as a part exchange, previously sold by ourselves four years ago to Mr. Parsons up in the town. And if you saw my little walk round of it at the time, it had a scuff on this front corner, which Dave, my excellent smart repair man, came in to do yesterday. And I did also say we were going to be doing replacing some tyres because the others were perished. So it's had four new tyres, 
yesterday as well. It also had a full service. We stripped and cleaned the rear brakes, had all the filters done, so it's ready for action. There was also a broken wing mirror, and there is now no longer. So a new wing mirror uh, with the cover that Dave painted as well. So I've just done the walk around video, uh, the proper official walk around video that isn't me joking about, and just done all the pictures as well, which I need to edit. So. It looks a hell of a lot different than it did a couple of days ago. Super clean and tidy now, with the black alloys. Like I said before, a £20 road tax model um, because of the age of it, so that's always nice. Lewis has done an excellent job, as he always does, on the valet side of things. Oh, hold on a minute. Smash everything up. So yeah. It's been cleaned, valeted, and then machine polished, just because it's been sat a bit, so it was a bit grimy. But now, very nice indeed. Seats were wet vacked, and um, it does always surprise me when dealers choose not to wet vac them and take pictures with them, take pictures of seats with stains on. I absolutely hate that. So uh, it's a bit of one of my bugbears. Lewis knows the drill now, he's been with us long, long enough and it looks a proper little car. So there we go, a busy day for a Friday. Let's go and have a look what's cooking in the workshop this afternoon. We've got this nice old Phaeton, this arrived uh, with the RAC this afternoon with a snapped auxiliary belt, so that's been ordered and we'll do that Monday. That's the old man's XC90, using all our electric as always. So, what else have we got going on? Focus. That's got a broken window switch, so that's being replaced this afternoon. That's the Arona from this morning, which Lewis is on at the moment, getting that ship shape and ready to go. And this cash guy, we had a call on this at lunchtime. Techna cash guy. Guy wants to come and see it in the morning. That was very recently MOT'd and serviced by Nissan, but they did advise a couple of tyres, so we've just popped a couple of tyres on it. Now it just needs a quick freshen up. So if the chap comes and he likes it, then he can take it away with him. Really nice that one. 43,000 miles every extra. Every extra in the world, that one. So there we go. Beautiful day here in Ross and a very busy Friday. But it's certainly be better to be busy than twiddling your thumbs. So there we go guys. I'll let you know on Monday how we get on with that cash guy. 1.6 turbo that one, a bit of a strange one, petrol. Um, but like I say, all the kit. I think that'll do for this week. Have a great weekend. Please remember if you've enjoyed this video and enjoy more content, please do uh, Click the thumbs up, give us a like, and, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, there'll be more to come next week. I'm enjoying doing it if nobody else is enjoying watching it anyway. So thanks a lot. Have a good one. So guys, I thought I was done for the day. Uh, the Arona, we finished valeting. Um, so I've just done pictures and the walk around video of that one as well. Look at the time. 10 past six on a Friday. The world's gone mad. Anyway. The weather was dry, conditions were good, so I took pictures of the Arona, did the walk around video of that one, so we'll get that advertised over the weekend. And then just as I was locking up, this little i10 arrived. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to arrive today or over the weekend, but it's just arrived, and it's come pretty much valeted and ready for action, which is always a bonus. 67 plated, this is a 1.2 SE. Uh, which is really nice level of specification actually it's only done 14,000 miles tyres good conditions ex excellent I've just had a quick scoot round but I don't actually think there's anything bodywork wise to mention at all obviously that horrible sticker will be coming off and those plates will be coming off and we'll have our own personalised ones which we've always done 
Um, just looking around for a mark. Oh, there is the faintest of scuffs on that mirror. And a tiny little curb mark on that trim, which we will touch in. No stone chips. Yeah, very nice. Always do well with these i10s, they're proper little cars. Slightly raised seating positions. This shouldn't need too much at all before going live. What do we get? Four electric windows, electronically adjustable mirrors. Oh, a smorgasbord of buttons on the steering wheel. We've got cruise control, speed limiter, Bluetooth. That's the mileage. 14 and a bit. Manual. Got some grippy storage. USB, auxiliary, 12 volt, aircon. Bluetooth. Um, owners wise, I never like to show the owners before I've deleted it, but it's one form of keeper. And service history, let's have a little, she looks happy with herself, let's have a look. So of course these Hyundai's come with a five year warranty, so this will have a little bit left on it. What have we got? Good history. Yes. Arnold Clark, Arnold Clark, Arnold Clark, Arnold Clark. So full Hyundai history, last serviced a month ago. So that'll do for us. Great. Ready to rock and roll. So the Arona will be on later. We've had a very productive day. And looks like we'll be able to crack on early doors next week as well. So that is definitely it. Have a great weekend, folks. And uh, see you on the other side.